This is my uh, JT65 setup that I'm really quite happy with. I uh, wanted to share some of my uh, uh, recent software acquisitions and, uh, and setup for uh, JT65 and JT9. Uh, I recently downloaded a, a couple of uh, programs here that are uh, uh, very useful. Uh, the first one is this peak level meter up here at the top left. Um, that shows your sound card input and uh, uh, lets you know if it's distorting or not. And uh, I really like it. And it is uh, adjusted with the signal link uh, audio level. So basically, uh, all you do when you get that, when you get this up and running, you just uh, turn the uh, receive level on your audio or on your signal link uh, up or down to uh, get a reading of. Uh, I like to get a, a peak reading of around uh, minus eight here uh, on the peaks. If it gets into the red, uh, you're distorting, and uh, you don't want that. So this is a real good uh, adjustment indicator for the signal link to show exactly where your uh, audio is without distortion. So I'll leave a, uh, a link for the download for this. It's, it's very useful and I really like it. Second thing that I downloaded recently is uh, the uh, sound card oscilloscope which I uh, really really like and uh, this is a scope that will show you your, your receive signal uh, and uh, again, it uh, it shows how clean your signal is, and and whether or not it's distorted. And uh, the way you can tell that it's distorted is right now I've got an excellent receive signal. It's there's no distortion at all, and the way I can tell is that the peaks on the upper side and the peaks here on the lower side have very sharp points. They're all pointed very sharp. Uh, if it was distorted, there they would uh, those peaks would be leveled out flat. They would be uh, uh, flat instead of sharp. And the wider the flat line is, the more distortion you've got there. So uh, this is showing a very clean input, and uh, that's uh, one of the reasons why I downloaded this oscilloscope. It's uh, it's a uh, very uh, uh, very useful in telling what kind of a signal you're you're receiving for decode, and uh, the better you have this JT65 or WSJT-X, uh, the better you have the settings adjusted, the better your decode is going to be. So uh, you can adjust this oscilloscope. Uh, the over here on the left here, this left button, the uh, amplitude. Uh, you can uh, kind of bring that up, and it'll go uh, it'll go up and crazy big, <laughs> big wide, uh, or you can bring it clear down here to a real small little guy. Uh, ideally, what it needs to be in the screen, it just needs to kind of fill the screen so you can see uh, basically what uh, what's going on there in the full screen. I might have it a little too high here. We'll adjust it back down. There we go. That's pretty good right there. And then down here is your uh, your time uh, slider, and it can go around and you can you can see uh, faster. Uh, you can go real fast if you want, and uh, or you can bring it back down. And, and the best way to uh, to see those flat topping signals is to bring it down to a pretty slow uh, scale here, so that uh, you can see that they're not uh, flat topping and that they are sharp points. So that's pretty cool and uh, I have it set with uh, channel 1 and 2 down here and uh, auto and uh, let's see here that's pretty much it on the settings and you come up here to the uh, the top uh, selector bars here you get we're on the oscilloscope right here you can go to the XY graph and uh, not sure exactly what that indicates or what I'm going to do with it yet, but it looks kind of cool. I'll do some more f research into that and figure out what we need to do with that. Uh, frequency, that uh, shows what's uh, happening on the band frequency-wise. And uh, 
the uh, signal generator if you need to generate a signal. I'm not sure exactly how that works yet either, but uh, going to play with it a little bit when I get a chance. Uh, this extra is this is an audio recorder, which is really a nice feature. You can record your conversations and, and play them back uh, for anybody, and that's a nice feature. I've got that on a number of my programs. Uh, HRD has that as well, but uh, again, there's uh, one more recording device for your uh, pleasure if you need it. Uh, here's the settings for the oscilloscope, and here's where you uh, set your uh, codec, uh, USB auto codec. Uh, for your sound cards and uh, uh, same way that you do that with uh, WSJ and HRD and everything you select the sound card on your signal link that's basically the only adjustment that you need to do uh, to get this thing up and going it's pretty uh, pretty cool again I'll leave a link at the bottom for uh, where you can get both of these uh, little uh, uh, programs for free back to the oscilloscope now I wanted to go over to uh, WSJ T-X uh, here for just a second and uh, show some uh, features here that uh, some may not be aware of but uh, down here on the waterfall uh, right here uh, the red and the green uh, right up here in the white to the right of the blue line uh, that's indicating the red is indicating uh, uh, the transmit location and the green is indicating the receive location uh, the fact that it's to the right of the blue bar uh, indicates that uh, we are on JT9 which it says right up here we're JT9 and a uh, uh, very uh, small bandwidth uh, signal receive and, and transmit now if I were to click to JT65 up here notice that uh, it ex it uh, uh, expands uh, dramatically to the bandwidth of JT65. Now I can't receive JT65 or I can't transmit JT65 to the right of the blue line because that's all JT9 territory. So if I control, hit the control key and click over here, it moves it. And uh, you can use the control click to move your transmit anywhere you want uh, in the uh, uh, waterfall here and uh, for instance uh, you wouldn't want to uh, start calling CQ in this area here because this area is used so you control click and find a, a uh, vacant spot to uh, transmit and receive from and that's uh, how you do that basically um, I also have uh, changed down here my zero setting from minus three I've changed it to minus five and uh, uh, the higher you go in the minus figure, the less background noise you get, and uh, uh, the better you can see those faint signals, like this really faint JT9 signal over here under the 3000. Uh, if you had, a, if you uh, brought that uh, uh, zero setting up to the to the plus, you'd get lots of background noise. You might not even see that guy there. So, I just discovered how this works here just a little bit ago. So that's why I'm mentioning that. And uh, let's see, what else do I want? Oh, um, over here on the left, this indicator here, uh, audio receive indicator, uh, this at this point is not worth talking about, not worth using. It's just uh, uh, negated due to the fact that I now have this peak level meter up here. This peak level meter is a far, far superior uh, way of seeing what you're receiving and adjusting your uh, receive uh, from the signal link. So this needs to be set right at mid-level. This is your attenuation, uh, up or down, plus or negative. So it needs to be set right at mid-level. And this needs to be a, a full, full bar up here, which is uh, the way it is when it's about 30 and uh, this is where you set your your receive level via your signal link and again uh, just turn the receive knob on the signal link up or down to get uh, somewhere in the uh, minus eight reading and uh, you'll have perfect audio coming in and uh, I think that's about it I think that's uh, pretty close to being a, a crocodile done deal here um, 
got some decent signals coming in tonight. Uh, they were a little stronger here a little bit ago, but they're still coming in. You can see that they're uh, rather weak now. Um, minus 22, minus 17, minus 12, minus 17, minus 17, minus 6. That's a real strong one coming in from Alaska. Uh, but the rest of them are in the 20s. Uh, 12s, uh, it's not too bad. But again, in the decibels uh, for the for what it's worth department, in case you didn't know, the uh, the higher the minus signal is in the decibel reading, uh, the higher it is, the weaker the signal it is. Uh, the lower the number, the stronger the signal is. So this minus six from Alaska, it was a very strong signal and uh, uh, one that you'd be sure you could con make a contact with. Whereas the uh, minus 25 up here, uh, WR7X, uh, he's got a pretty weak signal on, and he's on uh, JT9. And the, re the way you can tell JT9 is uh, it's got an at symbol. Uh, and uh, JT65 has got the pound signals here. Now well, that's how you can tell that. Anyhow, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And uh, I hope this little video helped uh, anybody who's watching it uh, uh, out with uh, uh, receive settings on JT65 and JT9 with the program WSJT-X73s.